when you stand up it doesn't go away from the heater you get cold. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay so ride a couple transitions from walk to halt take the arch out of your lower back find find those abs and i'm going to tell you to do something that's called shortening your front susie yeah. where instead of opening yourself i want you to bring your rib cage down and close yourself a little on the front side okay, okay? You and I ride the same. We're extension riders, okay? okay? Because we're both tall and, and not fat. So, um, <laughs> and people who are short and heavier like to ride in compression, and people who are long and tall like to ride in extension. We don't want to overdo that. Being able to ride in extension is a good trait, but overdoing it and arching your back is not. That was good. Now I want you to ride that transition and think about those inner thigh muscles and the knee and make that part of your aid. Yeah, what did you feel that time? He did it a lot quicker. Okay, so he felt you stabilize. Now I guarantee you that Lauren does this when she rides. And we were just talking about this. This is why I went to this seminar because I'm trying to be able to teach this stuff better because it's so hard to teach. That was good, okay. Now shorten your reins a little bit so you think about him starting to come together because we did a good warm up before. Good. And then I want you to remember that you should access at times that inner arm muscle towards your body and your rib cage towards it so you're not riding around with your elbows sticking out. That's right. Good boy. Good. And then go ahead into trot for now. Good. So I just wanted you to become aware of those, those pieces, okay? So as you're, and you can sit to the trot now. Now, think about, again, keeping a bend in your knee. Good, keeping the arch out of your back. And ask, and now you have to ride your horse. So you analyze, what's the trot I have right now? How good is it? I like it pretty much, but I don't know how well he's doing because I've only seen him once and it was like two months ago. So Lauren might come in and say, oh, he can trot much more than that. <laughs> now, shorten your reins a little bit. And I want you to have in your fingers and your wrist and your hand, I want you to have the feeling that your the flat part of your finger touches your palm when you ride all the time. Touches the palm. So you've got this, this, the tips, tips yeah, the flat parts of your tips touch the palms of your hands. Okay? Good. And ride a little more activity. Good. Now the arch is creeping into your back a little bit, so I want you to shorten your front a little and I want you to bend your knees more. There you go. Good, Susie. And you're gonna watch your video and that changes your position a little bit when you do that. Good. I feel like I'm like, it's a hunchback. No, you're not. <laughs> I know, I felt that way too. They did this to me too. <laughs> That's right. No, you're not at all. Good, good. Watch your legs straightening and your foot pushing down onto your stirrup. Right, a transition to walk. So, this is a big deal, because you're not gonna ride with independent leg, you're going push down all the time. Yeah. You've, gotta, you've gotta be here, so okay. that you can feel your horse on your side, not your girth on your side. Okay. Okay, so you gotta keep this bend to your knee. Don't ride with a straight leg. Okay. okay. And, and plus, you're not going to be able to access here. Feel what happens when you extend your leg. It goes away. Yeah, and it also feel what happens to the rest of your body. Yeah. Yes. Okay. 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 So.
Okay? You're not going to get engagement from your horse without figuring out this piece. Okay. Now, if you put every effort you have into that for a circle and you can't hold it any longer, write a transition and then do it again. You know where I'm feeling it is in my hamstring. Yes, I would imagine you haven't been riding with much in your hamstring and you're going to start riding with some in there. Yes, that's right. Yes, that's right. Now your leg slowly wants to straighten. Yes, I know. Good. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Yeah. Slowly your leg wants to straighten. So each time you feel the weight go more than 20% into your stirrup, Susie, you've got to say 